Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy Lord. I am a freelance illustrator and artist, um, and I work predominantly around themes of kind of Japanese pop culture, neon vibes, a bit of cyberpunk, uh, and a few kind of video game references. Uh, and on that theme, I'm gonna take you guys through today a quick pixel art tutorial in Adobe Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the tutorial side of things, let's take a look at what pixel art is and where it comes from. Pixel art or 8-bit art gets its name from retro video games. So back in the days, consoles and computers weren't very powerful and as a result, the artwork that they could render couldn't be very high resolution. And so you get these very pixelated um, art style, which nowadays has become a style, but back in the days was a necessity for the computing power of these machines. And so here you've got this example of a highly sort of rendered artwork done in powerful programs like Photoshop. Uh, and on the right, you've got the pixel art equivalent of that. So you can see that obviously drop in resolution, but this has become a style nowadays. Another thing to consider when you're creating your pixel art file is how many pixels you're gonna include in the image. Um, so here's four examples of some standard sizes when creating pixel art. On the left hand side, you've got 128, uh, and that literally means it's 128 pixels by 128. Uh, this has a lot of information, you can really include a lot of detail into this, but it also means that it's going to be a bit harder to draw all that detail. This is very pixelated, um, it's very difficult to make out what's happening. You've got less detail, which makes your image a little bit harder to gather information from, but it also means that it's a bit easier to draw and this is one of the things that you'll have to balance when you're creating your pixel art. Okay, so we're in Photoshop now, and as you can see, I've started by creating this little sketch of a, a pizza slice. Uh, pizza slice because it kind of fits with this idea of video games. This is your little health boost. Uh, it's delicious, uh, and yeah, it's going to be something that's going to be relatively simple for us to draw. So I've got this sketch, and I'm ready to now transfer that into pixel art. So we're going to start by creating a new file, and you'll see that there's a little bit of setting up that we need to do before we can do this. So, first thing I need to do is to create a new document. So I'll do that by hitting Command N or Control N if you're on a PC. Um, and this brings up my new document window where there's a, a range of different options. First thing I'm interested in is going into print uh, because this is going to be a print. And then I can go in where it says A4. This doesn't really matter which one you choose here because we'll change this anyways, but we'll start with A4. Uh, and that's going to set our width to 210 and our height by 297. And in, that's going to be in millimeters. So these are physical sizes. We don't want that. We want that to be in pixels. So I'm going to hit that and go and select pixels. This has now given me the equivalent physical size in pixels. So I'm going to change that to 64 by 64. And then the rest of all these options can change, can stay exactly the same, sorry. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. And that's gonna create my little um, pixel art canvas, which is very small for the time being, but we'll fix that in a second. So if I zoom in here, you'll see there's not much happening. Uh, and what I need to do before I can really start doing this is to see the pixels that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna select a, a kind of a neutral color, so it's kind of 50% gray here. Um, you can see if I kind of zoom in here, I'm roughly at 50% on the black and um, so that's roughly what you want doesn't need to be exact but there we go and I can hit option delete to fill that and you'll, immediately you'll notice that I can now see the actual pixels that are in that image so now I'm ready to start painting and if I use the regular brush you'll see this will happen where I'm definitely making a mark and from a distance it looks okay but if I get up close to this if I zoom in you'll see that there's this kind of gradient of black pixels and then slightly sort of darker gray and then lighter gray and then my background color here uh, which is something that will happen if I zoom in on my actual pizza slice sketch you'll see the same thing happening so Photoshop does this to smooth out your images and give it this kind of anti-aliasing to get rid of the pixels so we need to bring those back in so in order to do that I'm gonna actually going to use a um, different tool so instead of the brush tool which lives up here um, in your menu I'm gonna click and hold and I'm gonna go down to the pencil tool uh, and while I'm here you can see that I'm got set that to 35 so this is literally going to be 35 pixels wide so if I make a, a drawing here I'm not going to get the aliasing but I'm filling out way too many pixels for my liking so I need to go back into here and go down to my size and literally just type in one pixel wide and hit return and now you can see my cursor here cursor fits exactly inside one of these pixels 
So that's why it's important for me to be able to see those pixels. Um, and then it will fill those pixels and kind of magnetize to those. So for instance, if you see, I've got my kind of cursor here on the middle of these four pixels, wherever I'm gonna press is which one is gonna kind of fit into that. So I can't draw in the middle because I'm literally down to the pixels here. So pixels in between don't exist. It's either that one or the one on the left. Um, so that's gonna make it a little bit easier for me to see. But as I said, if I don't have my color in the background, I can't see where my pixels are gonna go. So I won't be able to place them. Um, so that's the kind of the basic premise of my pixel art. So I'm ready now to start painting this uh, and create my pixel art. And as you can see, I've got similar lines, but I'm also gonna to need to do the same thing to my eraser because if I hit E on my keyboard, you'll see my cursor now is again, gigantic. And if I erase, I'm gonna get the similar kind of thing. So this one's a little bit different. This one doesn't live in the actual eraser tool. There's no pencil here, but you'll have to go up to here where it says mode brush and we'll change that to pencil. And then again, same thing up here, we'll change the size down to um, one pixel and that's going to mean that when I go in and erase I'm erasing single pixels in a nice clean edge like so um, cool so I'm ready to go I'm ready to start drawing but I'm going to bring in my pizza slice in first and so I'm going to command C copy that and command V control V to paste it in so it doesn't look like anything's happened but this is because my pizza slice sketch is much bigger than my pixel art because it's a much higher resolution. So I need to diminish the size of this um, down to my actual canvas. So I've had to zoom out quite a bit in order to do that. You'll see that I'm gonna lose a little bit of the detail. That's simply just because, again, I've got such a difference in resolution that I'm gonna kind of lose that. But it doesn't matter, I can still kind of see what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna lower the opacity of this. So up here in our layers panel, you'll see this little slider. This is gets used quite a bit when I'm drawing, so I'll just lower the opacity down. And you can see now in my image that that's lowered the opacity. Uh, and now I can start painting with this. So I'm gonna start with a yellow, and we're gonna paint the cheese first, and then we're gonna start filling this up. So I'll speed this video up a little bit, switch into a time-lapse, uh, and you'll see the kind of the whole pizza take shape. So let's go. Okay, so that's it. I'm pretty happy with how that looks for now. Um, we've still got a couple of things to fix up on this, but the, the bulk of it is here. So again, you can see I've added some little kind of herbs on this and they're literally just a square, which looks a little bit funny if you zoom in, it becomes a bit of a, a mosaic mess. But if we zoom out, it starts to make a lot more sense. So again, these kind of pixel arts are, are, are a style, but they're, they're not necessarily meant to be viewed up close because it makes too much sense. So you need to kind of keep a, a bit of a distance from them to see what makes sense. And there we have our little pizza slice all finished up. But this isn't quite ready to be produced yet because I've created this at 64 by 64 pixels wide. That means that in the real world, this image is absolutely tiny. Uh, and if I do Command Option I, it'll bring up my image size panel. You can see that is the case in here where my image is literally five and a half millimeters wide um, and tall as well. So if I was to say, send this over to a client to make stickers or print this on t-shirts or posters, they really can't do anything with this because this is literally half a centimeter um, in size of the image. So I need to fix this before I can actually send this off or produce this. So we'll do this by increasing um, the size here. Uh, and the main thing that we're gonna look at is um, this here where it says resample. So by default, this is set to automatic. And what we want is to bring it down to nearest neighbor hard edges. And I'll show you the difference. I'm gonna leave that to automatic right now. Uh, and you'll see what the difference is gonna be. So I'm gonna make this, um, let's say we want this to be 
uh, I don't know, we want it to be 20 centimeters wide, we're going to put this on a t-shirt. So we're going to go with 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters. And you can see immediately in the preview what it's going to do. I'm going to hit return. Okay. Uh, and that's made my image bigger, but it's also because Photoshop has to create extra pixels and extra information, it kind of blurs the image a, a little bit. So we don't want that. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, I'm going to zoom back into this again, because our image is tiny. And I'm going to bring that panel back up. So command option I. And where it says automatic here, I'm going to slide this down to my nearest neighbor hard edges and that will preserve the hard edges in the image and then I can go back into millimeters and say 200 and you can see here in the preview that that is nice and crisp and that has kept my pixels exactly as they are but my image is now 200 millimeters wide. So this is ready to produce and send off to a client and be printed on any support that we want. So that's one of the, the main things that you need to do here when you're creating pixel art is always remember to finish it off by bringing it back into a, a normal size for production values. But for now, here's our little pepperoni cheese melted pizza slice all done up in Photoshop. That's it for our little pixel art tutorial in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you around.